How are we getting in? You fellas got the yacht down, Jetpack. Then I'll work my slicer magic. With my lovely assistant. Let's do this. Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you guys how to use Opus Clip nice and easy, step by step. First, go over to Google and just type in Opus Clip and hit enter. At the very top, you guys are gonna see Opus Clip AI powered video repurposing. I want you guys to click on this for once. Now, you guys can always drop in your link right here if you guys want to, but there's a better way and I'll show it to you guys here. This main page just kind of explains what it does, makes short form content, makes very nice short form content, but, in order to get the full atmosphere, the full value in my opinion, I think you guys have to join the Discord, just like a mid journey, if you will. So at the bottom right hand corner, it's gonna say, have questions, join our Discord. From here, it's gonna take you and ask you to be invited. I'm already invited and it just opened up my Discord app, which is gonna like cause it to crash here. So I'm gonna go over to the other Discord and you're gonna see right here that it has a whole list of people that are joining up. People are joining up every few minutes, so this thing is growing fast, so please sign up before they might have to put a block on things. Now, from here, you're gonna say, start from here, and this is gonna be all the instructions you need. We're not gonna go over it because I'm gonna be doing it for you. However, just in case you guys wanna watch it later on, or look at it later on. Next, you guys are gonna go to get your clips. This is where you guys are going to be getting all of your clips from, okay? The way this works is you're gonna take a link from a video that you own or a video you have permission from, and you're gonna drop it in there, and it's gonna make a lot of short form content based off of that. This is what makes it premium compared to all the other tools out there. So because Star Wars Jedi just launched, I'm gonna be using the Star Wars Jedi Survivor PS5 walkthrough gameplay from the Rad Brad because this guy is awesome when it comes to gaming. I'm gonna copy the link address, I'm gonna go over here to my Discord account, and what you do is all you do is type, let me move my head around from here, let's move this up a little bit, there we go. What you do is you type in forward slash clips, all right? forward slash clip, you hit that button right there, and then you just hit control V, and your video is gonna be right there. Hit that very fast, let me move my head over here to the bottom right so it's a little bit nicer and more professional. And there you go, our AI is working hard to clip your videos, and then you have to wait. You guys are gonna get a ping in one of two ways, prefer preferably two ways. You're gonna get a ping right here when the video is done, but also, Opus Clip just sends the video right over to your message. That way you don't have to come back in here and try to find it. That's what I really don't like about Midjourney. This one automatically just sends it over to you to be reviewed. Now, while we wait for the AI to make our videos for us nice and easy, we're gonna go over here and check out some of the other pages because these are all very important. The product updates page, this is simply just giving you guys updates because they're making changes so fast that every single day this thing just gets better and better and better and the facial recognition technology gets better and better and better. So anytime they have an update, they're gonna post here. Server status, if they're overwhelmed and a whole bunch of people flood in because it goes viral for a day or for a week, they're gonna let you know that, hey, servers are strained, just wait a little bit longer, it may take a little bit longer for that video to come through. With the small announcements page, they have a bunch of contests here. So if you guys wanna enter into some of their contests, make sure to come here and check out the rules. They do for a fair amount and I do like their contests a lot. Make sure to also follow them on Twitter because they are posting a lot of stuff on there nowadays as well. After that, you have the discussion pages. This comes with chat so you guys can talk with people that you guys um, might wanna talk to. You guys can learn stuff about people that have been doing this for a while. This is usually what happens on in here. You guys can give them reliable feedback. Just you know, say, hey, I like this, hey, I don't like this, and they're gonna take that into account when they make their next update. So be as vocal as you can because they do make changes based on what they're hearing in this feedback section. They actually listen to their consumer, which is great in this type of AI industry. Bugs and issues, if you guys find a bug, let them know, they'll make sure to fix it. Right now, the only thing you guys have to understand is do not put videos longer than two hours in here and you're gonna be fine. Uh, make sure that you have somebody that's usually talking English, they're gonna uh, add extra languages next week, I believe, um, and that's, that's about it, guys. There might be some small tweaks here and there, but everything's pretty simple. Now, after your video is done, you're gonna hear a ping. Afterwards, I want you guys to go back to get your clip section and you guys are gonna find it right there. You guys have a few options now. You guys can either download the video, you guys can watch the video, or you guys can see more clip results. I always recommend you guys see, see more clip results before you actually download the video. Now, once you guys click on this, it's gonna ask you to say, hey, do you really wanna leave Discord? You guys are gonna hit yes. 
afterwards you guys are going to see it's going to take you right here and it's going to give you a whole bunch of clips it made from this video what i like about this is these are all different videos so if you wanted to you could take every single one of these that passes your qualifications and post them and that just saved you how much time that saved you hours and hours and hours of time making all these different shorts and you can see right now you know we have about 14 shorts it looks like just off of this one video that is very good, especially if you guys are a gaming channel and you guys want to pop out content and you guys want to have videos scheduled for every few hours, every single day. This is an easy way to do it, especially if you're a streamer or you guys have some long form content. This makes your lives a lot easier. Now, even the ones at the back or in the middle are still good as well. Let me find something in the middle here. Uh, let's just say uh, number seven. Let's click on this. Even the twins can't pry those bad boys open. And you guys can kind of listen to this. You fellas got the yacht down, Jeff Pack. Actually, better for now, let me just download it. It's gonna ask me to sign in. You guys should sign in with Google or with um or with uh Discord. I recommend just signing with Google, I prefer it. Now, let's go back over here to number seven. I don't wanna lead you guys astray. I'm gonna download it right here. It's gonna come up on the bottom. I'm gonna click on it and we can watch Even it. Even the twins can pry those bad boys open. How are we getting in? You fellas got the yacht down, Jeff Pack. Then I'll work my slicer magic. With my lovely assistant. Let's do this. Okay, and you can see it, it forms everybody up. Everybody's in the uh, iframe. You can even see the robot there. The one thing that I notice right now is you can see how there's double you can see how there's double subtitles right now. We don't need that because the game is already providing them for us, which is a very good thing. Now, if you guys want to change that, you guys can go over here and you can see edit clip. You can see right there. And then boom, you guys can actually change this and you guys can set your own preferences. You can set a, a caption style. You can have different layout settings. Like maybe you guys want to have it split. Maybe you guys want to have it be fit. Original ratios. You guys can change all of that in the back up here, in the background area. Now, if you guys want to change certain colors of the text, you guys can do so. If you guys don't want to have emojis, you guys can change that too coming up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is an amazing service and I hope you guys enjoy it. It's currently free, so make the most out of it before they start charging it or charging for it. See you guys.